안녕하세요. Which programming language should I start with? Now this question is very hard to answer correctly. The reason why is because when you ask me that question, I don't know you. I don't know what you want. I don't know what you want to build. So if I tell you, oh, just learn Python, HTML, CSS, I will be robbing you of an explanation that you deserve and a background that you need to understand. I'm going to answer you with giving you five programming languages, the more popular ones, why are they used? If you learn them, where are you gonna get? Where are you gonna go? The first one we start with is C and C++. C is a programming language designed for a very, very low level performance. Very, 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 very close to the machine. So for example, you can use C to program air cons or smart TVs or smart fridges, stuff like that. Something that has a little bit of, yes, programming, but it doesn't have lots of memory. Also, if you learn C and C++, most likely you're also going to find a job in those big companies or enterprises that have and make softwares that require performance. For example, you're going to end up working in a project like Photoshop or Premiere Pro, like in a company like Adobe, that you have to make software that really needs performance. Next programming language, Java. Java is very popular in Korea. You know, most of the time, Java is very popular in corporations, government, banks, and all that stuff. Nowadays, it's used to build enterprise web applications. If you learn Java, you're 100% gonna get a job. There are many, many jobs for Java. They are not, most of the time, in very fast-moving startups. Java is usually used by enterprise, as I said, or when you need to integrate with all their legacy systems. So m some banks are in Java, most governments are in Java, company that integrates with these kind of services, then you're gonna need Java. Also, if you learn Java, you are going to be able to program Android applications. So if you want to be like an enterprise developer, to you know that you have a job and to have a safe job in an environment that doesn't move as fast as, for example, front-end development, then Java is for you. Also, if you want to be um, an Android developer 100% and you love Android, then Java is the place for you. Next one, Python. I think the easiest choice for a beginner, and the reason why I say this is because Python is very, 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 very multi-purpose. For example, in Python, you can find how to hack computers, which is how I learned. Also with Python, you can do machine learning. Also with Python, you can do data science. Also in Python, you can do data visualization. Also with Python, you can do scraping the internet. Also, you can build websites. There's many, as you can see, you can do many, many, many things. Uh, beginner friendly language. It's not as ugly as Java and it's not as ugly as C. You need to remember that the, the closer the language is to the system, the lower level, the more ugly it is. Python is a very pretty language to, to read and that's why beginners like it so much because it doesn't scare you at the beginning like C. If you see C, oh my God, what the, okay. JavaScript, but let's make one programming language. Let's call it HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. If you want to build websites and that is the main focus of what you want to learn to program, then go for HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. That is how you start making websites. Some people will tell you, oh, if you want to make a website, then go for Python because Python makes websites as well. Yes, you can make a website with Python. The difference is that with HTML, CSS, and JavaScript, you learn by building something that is visually attractive for you. And also you learn how the web works from the ground up, from, the, from nothing to everything. So when you want to become a web developer, and if that's what you want to do, then HTML, CSS, and JavaScript. Now also, if you learn JavaScript and you like it a lot, you're going to be able to build very, to build many dynamic websites. You can also make some iOS and Android applications. You can also program the backend. Now JavaScript is also kind of multi-purpose, like Python is, but JavaScript is very old and... Mm. PHP is to build backends. You can build backends with PHP, and PHP runs everywhere. Most of the internet runs on PHP. Why? Because there is this thing called WordPress. WordPress runs with PHP and many websites use WordPress for many, many, many things. Also, PHP is uh, stable. The community is big. 
I don't usually use it that much. I learned it before, but for me, it's not, it's not my thing. I prefer Python or Node.js. But also, if you learn PHP and you want to be able to do stuff for WordPress, if you want to be able to do stuff for things like Magento or Drupal, stuff like that, like content management systems, then PHP is your guy. Whew. All right, my people, that's it. So now it's your turn. Ask yourself the question, what do you want to build? And then, choose all right start with why first know yourself and then all the answers will be in front of you thank you for watching let me know what you think about this video i know many people are gonna disagree many people are gonna agree please comment and ask me more questions i'm very very happy that i'm getting more and more and more questions every day no question is stupid all questions are love thank you again for watching don't forget to be happy eat kimchi and sangyeopsal bye bye